So in the prophetic ministry, you don't get there. You, you, you develop habits in the prophetic. Those habits you, you develop in the prophetic ministry are the ones that decide your prophetic destiny. Amongst the things we, we develop in the prophetic ministry. I greet you family. Goodness to you. Goodness to you. Welcome you to another video. So if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment on our video. In this video, Prophet Shepherd Bushiri Major One was talking about um, prophetic habit. He said your prophetic habit, uh, that is what we determine your prophetic destiny so let's go straight to this video as the man of god expand on prophetic habit and prophetic destiny so if you are new subscribe how are you stranded some of us were never stranded let me repeat i am never stranded i promise you i know what to do <laughs> i know i know what to do In the moment you begin to say i am uh, 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 you are a baby. You are a baby in the prophetic. You have a, a, a lot of, of things to, to learn and grow. Uh, I don't know. Uh, what are you talking about? Shut your door and begin to prophesy your day. Prophesy your tomorrow. Prophesy your business. I'm not talking to somebody here. Even if things still look bad, trust you me, God never fails. Keep on talking. Keep on saying it. Am I talking to somebody here? Oh, yes. Don't go like, I don't know, no, no. I am. Ooh. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? I tell you all the times. I've been telling you that me, I will never lose. I've been telling you. And I'm telling you this. From where go, I've been telling you. Because we speak. We speak, we don't fear anything. We don't fear human beings, we don't fear people. We fear nobody. We only fear the voice of God. If God says move, I will move. That's the only voice I fear. Am I talking to you? There are moments God can say, face the fire. You face it. God told me, Shek, Shadak, and Abed, and Ego. He said, What? He said, Face it. They entered into it, and they never got bent. And the same God went to Lot. And he said, don't look, don't look at that fire. Run away from it. He had to run away. It's the voice you obey. But that does not mean that you fear people. I'm telling you the truth. I fear nobody. We are never stranded. Tell your neighbor, I'm never stranded. So from now, I speak into my existence. I speak into my future. I speak into my past. I rule and I control how my life must be. Am I talking to somebody? <laughs> One time I said this somewhere, I said, you don't decide your future. You decide your habits. And your habits decide your future. So what is your habit? Amongst my habit is prayer. It's part of my habit. I decided I'll be praying for anything. One of my habits is innovation. So I have to decide how your habits will decide your future. You don't say, I want to I wanna be there. I want to be there. No, you actually decide habits. It's those habits that you do that will take you there. Many people are deciding their future like, you know what, I'm, I'm, I'm planning. I want to be big. I want to I wanna be great. Hey. Hey. Life is on the swimming pool. You don't just wake up and decide it. Like, I'm deciding. No, you don't decide it. You decide your habits. What, what are your habits? What are your habits? So I, my habits is I, I should speak to my situation, pray for my things. My habits, innovation. My habits, planning. Strategic thinking. These are my habits. 
so i i have habits i develop and they are consistent i i i make sure these habits are there i should pray i should plan i should strategically not just thinking strategically am i talking to you so those are my habits so those things now now they decide for, they decide in my future <laughs> I'm talking to somebody, right? Those things that the ones that can decide in the future, not you. So if your habit, there's no planning. Just thinking your future. And there's no planning. It will never happen. So I hear you, prophet. So in the prophetic ministry, you must understand these things. Because amongst things in the prophetic ministry is leadership. It's a leadership. leadership. It is leadership. Leadership is so prophetic. God wants people who can control, who can have power and access, whether in business community, whether in your family, whether in your house. Leadership. We have problems in families where a man is not a leader. Leadership is prophetic. God wants to have people who he can rule through them. And have dominance and power. So when we teach you these things, people all they think is God. I need, I need a house. I need a miracle. I need a house. How will that house come? You have no clue. So in the prophetic ministry, you don't get there. You 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 develop habits in the prophetic. Those habits you you develop in the prophetic ministry are the one decide your prophetic destiny amongst the things we we develop in the prophetic ministry is knowledge you need to know what the prophetic ministry is you deliberately involve yourself in prayer you deliver it's, it's a deliberate act, act that you actually say i need to pray if you struggle you even set an alarm to say at this hour an alarm when it rings, I stop everything I pray. I'm talking to somebody here. Right? You develop things in every five days. I must fast. Or in every seven days, I must fast. Not just living a life of try and error. You don't even know like when, when again you're going to fast. As I'm speaking now, you don't even know your next day to fast. You're just living. Like somebody else. When are you fasting? I, I don't know. I'll plan. Some of us, we even know our next day of fasting. Unless there's another one, which is abrupt, which maybe an angel, God may say, don't eat tomorrow or today. But you must develop habits, prophetic habits. Talking to the Holy Ghost. Chatting with the Holy Spirit. He's there to talk with you. He's right where you are sitting in that building where you are. He is next to you. You need to develop habits around you that you can say these are the habits that would will decide your prophetic destiny just like in business you don't decide your future in business you decide your habits innovation creating connections or networks you know planning strategic thinking these are habits the same thing in the prophetic you create habits and it, it is these habits that will dictate your prophetic destiny. You need to know that. Let's look at Jesus. What were his habits? Prayer. He was always in prayer. Leadership. Raising, teaching his disciples. What was his habits? Love. Forgiveness. These were things he was doing and they decided his destiny. The Bible says because of these things in, in Philippians chapter 2. It says because of these things in Philemon. It says God exalted him. Above. It says because of, because of his behavior. God exalted. It is, it is his habits that decided his destiny. Am I talking to somebody here? Am I speaking to you? When God was so mad 
because of Moses when he went and he married a Cushet woman God came down and he said you know, even if I want to do something to Moses I can't do it because he's the most humble man he said but you you I punish you it was his habit that protected him when God was about to punish him so thank you family for watching this video so be sure to subscribe as always like share comment let me know what you think please don't forget to turn on the notification button so that anytime i post a new video you'll be the first to get an alert god bless you